I've had two different people email me in the past week about how to bulk change the template here. And they're saying that they don't want to go into each product page, go down to this drop down, reassign, save, and then go on to the next product. It just doesn't make sense when you have thousands of products, obviously. So I'll show you a few different ways how to do that in bulk in this video. First of all, you have to remember that for your templates to be available here or to do them in bulk, you need to first create the template through the theme editor, right? So what we're talking about is the templates that you've created here, added like a custom banner or something for Adidas and for Nike to have these branded product templates, and they're all here. And this is your currently live theme. Remember that uh, on an unpublished theme, you, you can't see the templates from an unpublished theme in here, okay? So it has to be your live theme. And the first method is simply using the Shopify bulk editor. So I'm gonna click here. If you have more than 50 products, I'm guessing you do, you're gonna click select all products and then we're going to enter the bulk editor. Although before we enter the bulk editor, I think you first wanna filter, right? You wanna select the products that you're actually planning to edit. So I'm gonna select all the products that have the vendor Nike because I wanna assign the Nike template to all these products. Now I'm gonna click here and I only have 29 on my demo store, but you're gonna have over 50. You're gonna select all the select 50 plus, select all products and then click bulk edit. This is gonna open up the bulk editor. And the first time you open up the bulk editor, it's gonna have um, a bunch of random things selected, maybe from the last time you used it. And it seems that there's been an update because it used to be that you could hide the variants here. So it used to be like, if you hide the tags, the product media, everything that wasn't like unique for each variant, it used to be that if you just hide the price, then the variants would go away and you have a product on each line. And so you were able to see a lot of products at the same time. However, it seems that they've disabled that. So now if you have a lot of products, then you have a lot of scrolling to do because you can see all the variants as well. So if anyone from Shopify is watching this, <laughs> uh, give us a way to hide all the variants when we don't need to edit them. But okay, let's select what we actually want to edit, which is the template, okay? And all you do here is you wanna select all of them. So select the first one and then scroll down, hold shift, select the last one and then make sure you don't click one of these that was my mistake if you click one of these you're gonna deselect them all so um, you can only click on the first one once you've selected them all click on the first one and then assign the template that you want and it will be assigned across all of them now I've only tested this with like 60 products so when you scroll to the bottom when you have more than 50 uh, more of them load dynamically uh, but I don't know if there's a maximum limit, like if you keep scrolling, I'm not sure if you you can load like 500 or a thousand. I'm not sure about that. Okay, so if that's the case where the bulk editor only loads like 500 products and you have like thousands, then this bulk editor, it might not be the best solution for you. One option is of course to further break down uh, your products into groups and just do them by groups of however many work, groups of 500, for example. But the other way is rather than using the bulk editor, let's just use a different method. I wanna show you an app called Hexton Bulk Product Edit. I don't have an affiliate link. This is just an app that I use uh, for bulk editing. It's very useful. So here we have template suffix, exactly what we wanna change. And all you do is select which products you want to edit based on these various conditions. And we can go by the vendor. So wherever the vendor is, Nike, uh, careful, this might be case sensitive, I'm not sure. Um, then we click preview matched products and it'll show you a sample of some of those products. And then, so if you're sure that those are the ones that you wanna edit, then we're gonna choose an option here. You only have one option, update template suffix. And the template suffix is simply Nike, right? That's what it means by suffix, because the name of the actual template in Shopify in the system uh, is product.nike, product.adidas, yeah. So the suffix is just Nike, and you're gonna click start bulk edit now, and that's it. It'll go ahead and do that in the next few minutes. Or, you know, if you have thousands of products, it might take a while, but it'll get it done. 
You will need the paid plan, depending on how many products you have. The free plan is only good for like 10 products, in which case you don't need a bulk editor, do you? $10 a month gets you 500 products and $20 a month gets you 5,000 products. Now the next method that I wanted to feature in this video was Shopify Flow, but unfortunately it didn't work because it's lacking the ability to change the template. So, but as you can see, the idea was that start when, when a product is added to the store, it's gonna trigger a workflow, an automation. It's gonna check if the vendor is equal to Nike and then let's perform an action. And I thought that here we would be able to update the product template, but unfortunately that's not an option. I'm just including it in this video in case in future that is an option. But yeah, as you can see, you can do things like update the tags on a product. Maybe that's useful for you. I don't know. Um, but you cannot uh, actually change the template yet. So moving on to the next one, which is Matrixify. Matrixify is an app. It's one of the apps that I would say is kind of unique on the App Store. There aren't many apps that are this good that do this. It's for importing and exporting to spreadsheets, right? Um, like what Shopify does natively, but um, just a lot better than Shopify does it. Because you can export and import uh, the specific data about a product that you require, right? So for example, you can select exactly what you want to export. So I want to export all my products. And then these are the basic columns, which are usually all selected. But I'm just going to take the ID handle and the template suffix, the template suffix here. And when you hit export, I've already done this, but you'll get a spreadsheet that looks a bit like this. I'm on the free plan. So obviously it didn't export all of my products. But as you can see, this is a much more simple export than uh, what Shopify would give you natively because it's just the columns that you requested. ID, handle, and the template suffix. So this is very easy to modify in whatever spreadsheet software you prefer to use. And then again, you're gonna download that and upload it again through Matrixify. And so the benefit of this is that Matrix, Matrixify doesn't um, completely overwrite your entire product data. It's only going to overwrite the columns that you are importing. Get what I mean? Um, the thing that I don't like about the normal import export, I see it as a, a, a worst case scenario is because you're exporting and then overwriting a lot of things about your product. And I just feel like this could introduce bugs. It doesn't feel very safe to me. Uh, at least with the normal uh, product export in Shopify and the import, you see it's it's way too basic. But with Matrixify, I just feel a lot better about doing that. Um, again, this is not an ad for Matrixify. They don't have an affiliate program even. I'm not getting paid for it. And yeah, that's all for this video. Those are the three methods that I recommend. The bulk product editor built into Shopify, then Shopify flow, that wasn't an option. Maybe it will be in future. Hex Tom bulk product edit. That's probably the fastest, easiest to use option. And Matrixify, that's definitely the most powerful option if you really have um, a lot of products because you can really do whatever you want to your products in a spreadsheet. And that's all for today's video, guys. Make sure you check out my Patreon. You may have noticed that I'm making much more specific videos now, and these are for specific requests, things that people have asked me. And as part of my Patreon membership, I could even uh, handle these requests on your store, okay? Um, so you'll be getting this work done for free in exchange for the fact that I'll be showing your store in a video, right? So definitely check out the Patreon if you're interested in that. Please leave a like if the video was useful and I'll see you next time. Bye.